my daughter and her husband want to host Thanksgiving this year. I don't know how I feel about it. You see, they've only been married a couple of years. Doesn't that seem too early? I, I took it over after 20 years, right? 24 years of marriage, and we're now hosting Thanksgiving. And this couple, they think we should, quote unquote, take turns hosting it. You tell me, am I wrong? I mean, seriously, when should the baton be passed? We want to hear your Thanksgiving family tales. Come on, spill the beans on the forum. Click on the forum tab at the top of the page after the show and spill. Spill, baby, dish. Inquiring minds want to know. Today on Alaska Real Estate, hey, and we're not going to tell anybody, right? This stays between us. Today on Alaska Real Estate, you'll hear from Alaskan Realtors live at Anaheim. If you missed NAR Conference 2011, you'll get the 411 right here on Alaska Real Estate. Today's program brought to you in part by Alaska USA Mortgage Company, a name you know and people you trust. For 30 years, Alaska USA Mortgage Company has been earning your business. From conventional, VA, HFC, HUD 184, or rural development, Alaska USA is your one-stop shop for all things mortgage. As a realtor, when you get an offer with AKUSA written in as the lender, you know your chances of closing just went up. Online at alaskausamortgage.com. That's alaskausamortgage.com. Alaska was well represented in Anaheim this year. We go live to NAR Conference 2011. of us left behind here in Alaska, describe the 2011 Realtors Conference and Expo in Anaheim. It's been great interaction with people from around the country, of course, lots of networking, fabulous classes as always. NAR always does a great job putting on the convention every year. How does uh, Anaheim stack up to Nardi Gras or some of the other ones you've been to? New Orleans was a blast last year. Anaheim, obviously Southern California and sunny when everybody's in the snow back home is wonderful. Now that wasn't the least bit friendly. There's so much to choose from. I mean, so many classes going on, just looking at the roster and all these opportunities. How do you pick and choose and, and make the most of it while you're there? What I tend to do is try to think about where I am in my career and also where I am at with the board. Because I'm here representing the Valley Board of Realtors, then I try to make sure that the classes that I'm taking are things that would be beneficial to the board. If I was here on my own, not on behalf of the board, then I'd be looking at where I am in my career and what kind of things I want to do. And so I kind of try to come up with a, a healthy mix of the two of those. You tell us, what's been the highlight for Debbie Murphy? Actually, for me, I was one of very few people that were invited to go to a Wells Fargo-sponsored event today. I think I was the only one from Alaska, and I'm not sure what the criteria is to get that invitation, but there are 19,000 people here for the NAR convention. There were approximately 100 seats for this function today with Brian Buffini and David Knox. And so I got an invitation to go to, to that and I was able to bring a guest, and so I asked Michael Draghi to go with me. Wow. And, and Debbie, be honest, did you have regrets about inviting Michael when you saw I showed up in his Iron Man costume? <laughs> <laughs> no, Michael, of course, always, always great company. The consummate professional. <laughs> April Frick, what's up? Not too much. How are you, Mr. Story? Oh, stop the Mr. Business. Doing good. <laughs> It's windy, cold, and nasty, and just thank goodness you're not in Alaska right now. I hear it's raining and overcast there, though. How does that make you feel? It's a little bit. It's a little bit rainy. No, we're feeling good. We've had we had two, three days of sunshine in a row. Did you bring your axe? You gonna bust some moves at the talent show tomorrow night? No, I'm not. I'm not. I, I hadn't even thought about it. But I'm, I'm gonna keep that local. Keep that local. <laughs> That's right. Locals got talent. Uh, what has been the highlight thus far of the conference? Have you taken a class or heard a speaker that's made you really just go, "Wow, this is awesome"? You know. Was the most compelling for me or eliminating was a lecture that I took today that was leadership, just in courageous leadership in difficult times. It talked a lot about you know the importance of, of being realistic, but also about you know the challenges that realtors are facing and the challenges the market's facing, but also being um, courageous and being realistic about the strength of our profession and you know the strength of our long-term outlook and the incredible strength of NAR and all the good things that are happening. So I think for me that was a really it was a really great 
class. A good reminder that we have a lot of good things going on. The expo is amazing, just huge, and this is an enormous conference. So many people, I think it's a real reminder of the size and the strength of the Realtor Party and of NAR. And it's, let's see, what am I looking forward to? We've got a dinner this evening that Roger Florsinger from UConn Title is putting on, and it's all the folks that have come from Alaska are going to attend dinner together, which is great, because it's such a big conference. Even though you know they're here, you don't see many of them. See, my last class just got out not too long ago, and I'm standing in Disneyland, so that that was fun. I was looking forward to that all week. Oh, neat. Oh, so you so you're there in Disneyland. You're going to catch some rides. A couple, a couple. We're taking the break in between classes and our our next event to run over for an hour or two and, and brave the rain. What do you what do you picture yourself more of a teacup person or possibly something a little bit swifter than that? I think Splash Mountain. It was it was really scary. We did that, and then the other ride we did was the Indiana Jones one. Oh, very nice. So we were getting on a mellow jungle ride, so it was kind of a terrifying surprise. I wish everybody was here. It's great to see some sunshine, but more importantly, I think it's great to see a whole bunch of other realtors. <laughs> Good form. Hi, Michael Drake. How are you? Good big day the last several days. What will you take away this year from the conference, and, and how will you implement it? What, what's been the highlight so far? One of the things that was pretty interesting uh, yesterday was sitting at, as the major investor chair at several different RPAC functions. Um, Alaska was recognized as being the second strongest RPAC group in our region, in Region 12. In 2010, we were at 216% over goal for our RPAC goals. This year, we were 466% over goal. And while that's gratifying, I mean, the national uh, RPAC organization has raised $5.2 million so far this year. But, you know, when you consider the the totality of our membership, that's only about $5 a person. In Alaska, we had more major donors than anyone else in Region 12. We're up to 42 major donors. That's for people that are giving $1,000 or more to RPAC. The, the interesting news seems to be, I, I was at a uh, conference today sponsored by Wells Fargo that um, was, the speakers were Brian Ruffini and David Bach, and many people will know David Bach from his uh, best-selling books, one being the instant millionaire homeowner. But David said that he believes that, that the housing recovery is already in progress and brian said the same thing i mean how will you know it's in progress he said i kind of liken it to the california fires that burned down my home a couple years back you know when did the trees start growing back well probably almost immediately but i didn't realize it until just last year when all the trees around my house started growing back his point was that he believes that in most markets the housing recovery is already happening and it's gaining steam and it's it's coming you know improving that was good news um the other thing that i did yesterday which was pretty interesting is i sit on the national association of realtors Federal Housing Policy Committee. Everybody recognizes that, you know, with the federal government, there's going to be major changes in the future with hopefully um, better fiscal controls, and that's going to require that everybody uh, participate in that fiscal change a bit. So our uh, policy committee meeting was discussing different ways that we could um, affect that change or uh, minimize significant changes to our business. There's so much to go on if you're not a part of the national conventions if you haven't been a part of the national conventions. One thing's for sure, you won't be bored and uh, you will walk away learning a lot. And uh, I'm just getting ready to go to the expo for the first time and I'm looking forward to that. Hi, this is Ryan. Ryan Downhauser, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Is there anything you've picked up like a new idea for your business or something that you can share with us that you said, you know what, if for no other reason, I'm here and I've learned that and I'm glad. One of them is actually this was came from a, a member that stood up and kind of announced to everybody that there's a way that, that you can report the Craigslist scams. There's an actually a website that you can report them to, and it's like some government task force, uh, www.ic3.gov. IC3.gov. Yeah. Nobu, what you doing? I was actually in a strategic planning. One of the things that happened this year that was different from the years past was a strategic planning um, idea exchange. So basically the strategic planning group, the, the, the pretty much the highest end of volunteer realtors were there to give insight in the, the NAR about what's happening at the local level. And basically it, it, it's what we are experiencing everywhere. It's the increased power of the empowered consumer. It's a technology that's outpacing our ability to adapt. It's the lack of leadership to give insight to the rest of NAR about these new consumers. So it's this demographic divide that has been one of the biggest topics of conversation since I've gotten here. And it's, 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 it was, it's always been one last couple of years, but it's much more pronounced. When I hear agents from all over the country talking about the need for younger mindset 
And it's not young as an age, but it's younger at heart mindset and skill set and, and, and volunteer leadership is needed. It, it warms my heart because that's what I'm, I've been working for. But it's um, something that when I hear everyone else needing it, um, I know that we're doing a good thing here at NAR by letting folks rise to the top, as it were, no matter what, what their age is, as long as they are willing to serve. Great to see over 40 realtors from Alaska attend this year's conference in Anaheim. Seize the Day was President Ron Fitz's theme for the conference, and as we know, we've had a few years of challenges in the real estate industry, and this convention was a great opportunity for the 20-plus attendees to refocus on their professions. There were over 100 education courses that were offered and nearly 400 exhibitors sharing new products and services at the trade show. And in addition to the classes, there's also the business and governance meetings, and I currently serve on the Professional Development Committee. The purpose of this committee is to establish future initiatives for NAR education, and it also governs the GRI program. And one exciting thing coming out of this committee is that soon there will be available a master's degree in real estate. And this is a two-year education program, and the first courses are scheduled to launch in March of 2012. And there's more information on this on Realtor.org. And one thing I learned that might interest you, Chris, is that the National Association has a talk radio program, and it's called Real Estate Today Talk Radio, and it now airs in Anchorage on 1020 a.m. on Sundays from 4 to 6 p.m. And then once again, Alaska excelled in RPAC. We received a Triple Crown Award for the second year in a row. We were one of only four states to receive this, and this is given to the states that have reached their fair share goals, their major investor goals, and reach their participation goals. So I want to thank everyone that gave to our PAC this year. And also uh, our own Peggy Ann McConaughey from Juneau was recognized as a Distinguished Service Award recipient at the Board of Directors meeting. And this is a very prestigious award NAR gives out, and she is only the 80th recipient. And finally, Michael Eisner, former Disney chairman and CEO was a keynote speaker at the general session. He shared his insights on what it takes to run a company that grow and innovate, and this was a perfect fit for the Seize the Day conference theme. Hi, this is Barbara Ramondino with Alaska USA Title Agency, serving the Kenai Peninsula. Alaska USA Title is a full-service title and escrow company. Our mission is to provide quality services professionally, conveniently, and affordable. We can close your transaction in Kenai, Soldotna, and Homer, so you don't have to be a member of the credit union to close with Alaska USA Title Agency. I look forward to working with you this coming new year, and I thank you for your business. Please call Barbara at Alaska USA Title for all your escrow and title needs at 395 This program made possible by Alaska Housing Finance Corporation. Serving every Alaskan with low mortgage rates, energy rebate, and weatherization programs. And don't forget to tell your clients, friends, and family about the Senior Citizen Appliance Rebate Program. That would make a great blog post, Facebook, or mailing. For more information, go to ahfc.us or call 1-800-AHFC. Wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving and holiday season. For all of us at Alaska Real Estate, I'm Chris Story.